This is Corn Cod One of Nationalist News and Notes. I think it is imperative that Donald Trump take affirmative steps to stop the migrant caravan and its people from entering the United States. I know this is a, the whole thing is a, is a trick by the left and the Democratic Party. I know some of it's been funded by Soros. And this migrant caravan is intended by the American left and its foreign allies to make Trump look uh, mean to little Hispanic children and little old Hispanic ladies and little old uh, mestizos of various types. But these invaders must still be met with force. It's going to make them look bad with some parts of the electorate. Some people, in particular females, who have real no con, ninety percent of them have no concept of of politics and of strategy and of world historical events. You know, some of them just have that strong maternal gene, and it completely afflicts, not affects, afflicts their brains. And Trump is just going to have to take the punches. Because most of America will be on his side if he takes strong action against the caravan. I know it is intended to harm Trump, but I think he'll do better with the American public if he takes a more stern view. If they get to the border and they're not stopped, then Trump will look like a fool. The American people did not get their wall their promised wall. And for this, I mainly blame the rhinos in the Republican Party, in addition to the, uh, to the Democrats. But I think it's mainly the rhinos' fault, the moderate Republicans, the Bushite Republicans, that sabotaged his wall. But in a lot of ways also, I have to say, I have to be honest, I'm a Trump admirer, I think he's a good man, but he didn't push as hard for the wall as he should have. He should have pretty much gone straight from his inaugural into pushing hard for the wall. You know, he's done good with, he's done good with economics, he's made the country prosperous, but we all know the long-term deleterious effects of turning this country into a third world hellhole. This invasion must be stopped. Even if it costs us some votes in the midterm elections, and I know the midterm elections are very important, but if we have a populist nationalist president, he must take populist nationalist action. My advice to Trump is he must channel Matteo Salvini. Look what Salvini has done. He's cruelly turned back the votes full of African migrants. And by being bold 
and by being decisive and not being afraid of looking like a bad guy, Matteo Salvini is the most popular man in Italy. He's probably the most popular Italian politician in over 80 years. No one is more popular in Italy than Matteo Salvini. And that's in a country where, because of their inherent political instability, ever since the end of World War II, there have been no real popular politicians. But Salvini is almost like a god in Italian politics. If Trump takes decisive action and these migrant invaders taste tear gas, which is what I think the preferred weapon should be, uh, even if it means pictures of little children and old ladies getting tear gassed, His primary responsibility as Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the United States is to defend this country from its enemies, foreign and domestic. Trump must give his base supporters his loyalty. This is Corn Cod One of Nationalist News and Notes, signing off.